Animab and Denanumab are continuing to be studied as extensions of the original trials that led to their FDA approval. Now that they are commercially available to the public, they are continuing to be evaluated through registries, evaluated for their sim patient symptoms, biomarkers, and progression of the disease. These drugs are being studied in other groups, such as patients who have positive Alzheimer's markers but are not symptomatic for both donanumab and lecanemab. Possibly there will be a trial with donanumab in participants who have autosomal dominant Alzheimer's disease. And there is a trial with donanumab for participants who have Down syndrome. They are also looking at other ways to administer the drug. For lecanemab, they're looking at subcutaneous forms of the drug where it could be administered in your own home. Finally, other possible advancements include the use of ultrasound and other medications to minimize the risk of side effects.